Hi, I'm Amber, and I want to unbox for you my second month of Nutrisystem. I haven't even looked at it yet, so we will see. Okay, so just a reminder, the cheapest of the cheapest of the cheapest package is only dry food. So when they say, oh, your frozen food ships separate, there is no frozen food. Uh, I counted it the first month being like, oh, okay, just making sure, but I just let you know. So this is a whole month's worth of food, and it's dry. So they do have it separated kind of missed that the first time. So, this is what it looks like. It looks like so far. Let's see. Best way is this way. Breakfast, snacks, lunch, and then dinner must be on the bottom. Uh, it looks like just padding. So, I noticed that the weight of this is actually less than my first month because I actually did weigh it. So I did pick my food this month, so I kind of know what I got. And I think the tuna is really lightweight compared to like a regular lunch or something, maybe. There's a couple things I could explain, but I guess we'll see. So I'm taking out the stuffing. Yep, empty down there. Stuffing. Separator. Separator. All right. And here is my dinners. So, I knew that the pizzas were good, so I kind of got a few. Um, it's a little banged up, but I like some of these sounded really good. Santa Fe style chicken. The ginger chicken. I do like the ginger chicken. Oh, that was actually really good, the macaroni and cheese. I, it was really, really good with peppers. Really good. I got a couple of those. Um, the risotto. I haven't tried this one yet, but all their rice seems to be pretty good, so I don't... I didn't try that. I didn't get one the first time, though, so... Ooh, I'm not sure how the feeling is. a little tough. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I don't like the red sauce as much as I would have liked, but I did get one pasta, which was this one, um, just so I had something, and then I assumed the this chicken was probably pretty good. I have not tried it yet, though, because I'm still on week three, or I'm sorry, week four started today, I should say, um, so I got a couple chickens, I got a couple of the chickens, um, let's see, another turkey bacon rigatoni, turkey sausage bacon. I don't know, this one they say is in high demand. Um, sorry, it's kind of got a glare. So, I don't really know if it's any good. I do have one, I haven't had it yet. Um, I will say that as I'm just starting week four, I still have some food left, and I have one of everything. So, there's quite a bit I haven't had yet, especially because the turbo week, you get some doubles. So, again, I, I haven't tried everything. So, uh, I thought that looked good. I didn't get that the first time. I don't know. I like macaroni and cheese, and I like sausage, so it all seemed like good, good deals. Um, got the lasagna and tuna casserole. Some people say the tuna casserole is just disgusting, but I, again, haven't tried it yet, and I like tuna, so we'll see. And then I do like lasagna, so. And I heard, I hear good things and bad things. Most of the time I, when I hear bad things about the chicken pot pie, it's because the people cooked it wrong. And they'll admittedly say they cooked it wrong, but everyone else says it's amazing. So, again, another thing I haven't tried yet, but I took the chance. I guess we will see. All right. Kind of made a mess, but I... All right, I got two more pizzas here. I didn't get a lot of the thick crust ones because I did try the other one and I liked it. I assumed the thick crust was probably tiny, and I wasn't sure what to expect, so. Again, this is all stuff that I picked out, um, because I did have the cheapest of the cheapest package, but I 
I looked to see what they were going to send me, and they were going to send me a lot of stuff like a lot of bean meals, and I hate beans, and a lot of soups, I don't like soup, and a lot of uh, oatmeal, and I don't, like I, I said in my other video, oatmeal is really cheap at this store, so that just seems silly. There's not gonna, they're not going to add a whole lot of vitamins to oatmeal, so anyways, um, but I'll keep going, but this is stuff that I picked out that I either liked or I thought looked good or I heard good reviews about. Um, again, still starting week four, so don't really have a good feeling of what all tastes good, but I do plan on trying everything. So the stuff that didn't come in my first order, I ordered one of those or more if it looked good uh, in this order. So we will see. And, oh, they sent me another tracker. I use the online one, so... Um, Oh, so I've heard this bagel is really good. I don't know how shelf stable this is, but I heard it was really good. Oh, they got January 2018. Well, I guess they have. I think it's good. I heard it was not pre cut. That's the biggest complaint. Um, but I heard it was good, so I figured I'd give it a try. Uh, obviously, the muffins are good, so I got. Oh, and then. This one gets a lot of bad reviews. Um. And the reason I get so many bad reviews is because the frozen one is so good. So people don't like this frosting. Um, it tastes kind of kind of weird. It tastes kind of diety. I think is the best way to say it. Um, but there's a lot of frosting, but it's kind of. Um, I think it's pretty good. Uh, I like cinnamon rolls. It's obviously not as good as the frozen one, but I mean, like, I don't know. It's an unfair judgment. <laughs> Alright, so I got a couple of those. The biscottis. Um, I thought they were pretty good with coffee. You know. Um, I figured I'd give these a try. I didn't get these in my first one. Some cranberry bites. The cho chocolate biscotti, again, something that didn't come in my first one. This is hazelnuts. But it shows oranges on there. I heard that this one showed oranges, but doesn't actually have any orange in it. It's a little, little confusing, but... I don't think I'd like it with oranges. Muffin. Muffin. The muffins are the muffins are really dry, but they're really filling. And you drink it you you can pretty much drink uh, twenty ounces of water with each one. Um because they're that dry. Um, blueberry muffin. Um I thought these looked good and there's not really a lot of chocolate stuff, so I got a couple of these. I haven't tried these yet, I think they're new. And then these were decent. So um, moving on to snacks. Um, I always figure these will be good. I haven't tried these yet. Sorry. I know I haven't tried much. Mm, kind of lame. Cookies. They looked okay. Um, oatmeal chocolate chip. It's a soft one. I actually tried the oatmeal cookie since then. Since ordering this. And oh man, it was gross. So, I don't know if I'm going to like that. Don't get the oatmeal cookie. <laughs> It is disgusting. I heard it was good. It's got a really messed up flavor. It doesn't taste like a diet cookie. It tastes like a spoiled cookie. I, I don't like it. I don't know if I'm going to like that one. We'll see. Um, these are pretty decent. I heard these were really, really good. They're not that good. They're okay. They're okay. I should probably keep these separate. Ugh. Okay. These are really good, but really small helping. There's like seven or six. Um, decent, uh, the solid chocolates, it's the same thing, but the, by themselves, the solid chocolates were kind of gritty, I want to say, or, I don't know, just really had a really weird aftertaste texture. These were pretty good. I mean, some, either they're the same or they're not, I don't know. It's pretty good. I got a couple of those. I like those. I didn't try this yet, obviously, Girl Scouts. Gotta get a Girl Scout cookie. Um, so we'll see how that tastes. I just got one. Um, cheesecake's my favorite food. Um, again, why I look this way. Um, so I got a couple of these. But I didn't get to try these yet because they didn't come in my first month. So so I got a couple of those. I took a chance. Um, chocolatey nougat bar. This might be my replacement bar. My first one came all melted and squished. I told them just to send me another one with my uh, next order, and they said okay. So this might be it. I don't think I bought another one because of the situation. Um, let's see. It's a meal one. P 
peanut butter cookie again. I'm not sure if I'm going to like these soft cookies. Hopefully they don't taste like that oatmeal cookie. That was pretty terrible. White chocolate. It was the best of the cookies, I think. The one thing that you kind of don't really expect is they're really, really, really hard. They're like brittle, like 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 really, really tough, really hard cookies. They're not like you would expect. No cheesecake bar. No cheesecake. I got a lot of them. I like cheesecake. Um, I didn't try this yet. I assume it's like the cake, whatever. It feels kind of bad. I feel like this is all a bunch of junk food. Um, pound cake. That was pretty good. Really filling. When you want something filling, these ones are about a bunch heavier. I mean, what is this? 1.7 ounces. So, like, compared to, like, let's say a bar, which is 1.4 ounces, or the, these, uh, is 1.1 ounces. So, you can see a big difference with the weight. Chocolate cake. Pound cake. Ooh, that one seems messed up. <laughs> I think it's a little squished. Um, oh, carrot cake. I don't know if I wanted to take too much of a chance. People say it's pretty, it's not good. I bet it's got that same frosting as the cinnamon bun. So, that's probably why people don't love it. Um, I wanted to try it. I figured it'd probably be pretty good. Uh, snickerdoodle cookie, again, hopefully it's not like the oatmeal cookie. And then I figured it can't have all junk food and sweet stuff all the time. So, I figured I'd give these a try. It's actually bigger than I would have thought. One ounce, but it's all nuts. So, all right, let's flip it around. All right, so kind of silly, but oh, oh yeah, I, I hate and now I hate beans, but I like sausage, so I figured I'd give that one a try. Um, oh, apparently I got two of them. Maybe that's a substitution. I'll have to look. I didn't realize I got two. Uh, tuna salad. I got a lot of those. I really, really, really liked the tuna. I realize tuna is pretty cheap at the store, but it's not that cheap. So, um, I figured this would probably be really easy to eat. I, a lot of these seem really chintzy, so this seemed like a really good idea. Um, tuna. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Arrows con pollo. So, it's chicken and rice. Um, so yeah, the barbecue sounded good. Again, another one of those, and then another rice. So we'll see how those taste. Now, I wasn't going to get any bars. Um, I got them because I figured I had the possibility of hunting all day um, in my second month. So in those cases, I'm going to want the bars. So I still have a lot of bars from my first shipment, but um, I got it this one. This is a new bar. I hadn't seen it before. It's chocolate covered cherry. I don't know. They're hit or miss. Chocolate covered cherries in general. In general. So, um, we'll see if this tastes any good. I don't know. Oh, lunch. And then this one was obviously good. Anything with their chocolate's pretty good. Um, I heard this wasn't very good, but I like these because, um, and what I mean by these is with the dry ones that have the pasta sauce is because you can add a lot of vegetables to these. You cook these separate, you cook your vegetables separate, and then you add them together right before you eat them. Um, don't cook these with like a, a vegetable or add, add these to other foods because it won't turn out right. They have a real, they have really weird instructions. They're like, you know, fill with water to X height and then, um microwave and and then cover with tin foil and let sit every single one of them is how it creates the texture and the cooking and so think of it like easy mac like you wouldn't mix easy mac with other stuff just like cook it in the container and add it when you're done so this is really good with vegetables really good um again that's the same one i haven't tried this yet uh, i didn't get it with my first one but We'll see. I didn't like the uh, packaged Alfredo, the like the liquid sauce. So, um, I, but I did like these. Um, I hear lots of bad things about this. It's uh, basically ramen, and it's not very flavorful. You kind of got to add spice. I got a bunch of ground um, habanero pepper and ghost pepper that I made from my garden. So, I add that with a bunch of vegetables, like uh, stir fry vegetables. Um, I cooked them separate, and then I cooked this separate, and then I added it then. It was actually really good. I could show you a picture. I might be able to cue that up for you. Um, sorry about the paper plate. They don't believe in doing dishes in this house. Or 
they don't like doing dishes in this house, so I find myself having to eat out of paper plates a lot. Um, this was really good. Like I said, the, the rice is really good with them. Um, it's on point. It's got good texture and stuff. I'm not sure if this was a separate bar. Yeah, it's got to be. So, again, this one was pretty good. Um, it's a little bit small for, um, look the, what the package looks like. It's not that filling. Um, but if you're out and you, you want something sweet, it's kind of nice. Another three cheese chicken. Those are pretty good. And then, again, a rice. And then another Kung Pao. And then... Ah, oh, shucks. So, it doesn't look like I got any macaroni and cheese. I just tried it yesterday, and sadly, I heard a lot of bad reviews about it, so I didn't get it. But it is actually really good. I know it's really silly. It's like a kid's food, but the I put a hot dog in the macaroni and cheese. I cut it up real small, and I thought it was really good. Um, it's like a kid's food, and, and I mean, like, it's a protein. Um, yeah, I know. Oh, you don't do that every day. But it was fun. Sometimes taking some different foods and eating stuff you're not supposed to have. Like, I had a piece of cheese today. It was awesome. Um, I feel like cheese is not allowed. But it probably is. It just feels bad. Like, it feels wrong. But it was good. So, um, I will let you know how some of these things taste that I have not tried yet. Um, most of the stuff I got I do like. Um, like I said before in my other video, in the 12 Things video try a lot of stuff. Um, the things you like aren't going to necessarily be the same things that I like. Um, always follow the directions when you cook stuff. Uh, if you vary the directions at all, it always turns out gross. Uh, I've only done it twice and both times I didn't like it. Um, but both times I knew it was my fault. Except for the pizzas, I do that in the air fryer. You don't have to add any. It's just like a it's like a small oven. But I, it's pretty good when I do it that way. I will say I don't follow the directions on those. But they are good that way if you have an air fryer. Um, anyways, like I said in my fruit in the other video though, um, make sure you try a lot of stuff. And then make sure you change it to the second month where you pick your own. I'll send you a bunch of goofy stuff. Um, a lot of repeat stuff. Because they already gave you the, the nice package the first month. So, um, worth upgrading. Yep, yeah, that was my package. I just made a mess and I'll pick it up. I will see you guys later. Uh, if you want to see more videos about Nutrisystem, or dieting, or hunting, or homesteading, um, please subscribe and like this video if you think it's cool. Sorry, I know I'm weird. Bye.